today we will see how we can integrate our airtable database with the bubble first of all you have to go to the airtable and create an account via email or you can sign up with google once you logged in you have to create a workspace name your workspace as any text there you have to create a base this is a default table created within your default base let's rename the base to employees and the table to basic info save this information this is the basic structure of the table basic info let's modify the table to what we need we want this column name to a full name save this column name we do not need this notes column so let's delete it we don't need this assignee column delete it and we want to this column status changed to the positions and we want the values to be the positions for example web developer another option would be ui ux designer let's add and other one project manager let's save the options we need an other column of the email of the person so let's add an other column with the data type email if i scroll down there is this email data type if we click on it we have to provide the field name that would be email address create field let's add some data in the table positions and the email any sample email would work here let's add an other record position to ui ux designer and the email any email would work so now what we want to do is to show this data in our bubble application so if we go to the bubble application i have created this very basic table view using repeating group with three columns full name email address and position to build a connection between airtable and bubble we need to add a plugin created by bubble for the official airtable integration so let's go to the plugin tab here i already have installed this plugin called airtable what we need to do is to connect our bubble with the airtable with our airtable account so let's add an account here so it is asking for a account name we can add any account name here so let's put account 1 this requires us an api key from our airtable account so let's get the api key go to back to your airtable go to the account in developer hub here you can navigate to the api keys here i have already created a key so let's delete it this is saying that api key will be deprecated by the end of january 2024 then we will be using the personal access tokens but for now we can integrate airtable with the bubble using the api key so let's use the api key so this is so now airtable has created a unique api key 
that you should not be sharing it with anyone. I will delete the API key after this tutorial. So let's copy the value and paste it into our bubble application. So now what we need to do is to add a table from our air table into this plugin. So add another table. This is asking for a base. We have created a base in Airtable named employee. If I go back to my home page, this is the base name. So I can choose the base from here. And this by default shows us a single table that we have created in our base employees. If I have more than one table, I have to choose the table from the given list. Now what I want now what I want is to show all the records of the air table into my bubbles user interface. For that let's get for that let's go to the design tab and provide a data source of, re of this repeating group from the Airtable plugin. So the type of content would be okay I forgot to initialize the plugin so after adding the base table and the rights you have to initialize your connection. Now click save and get back to design tab and here the type of content would be the name of the table from your air table and the data source would be from the external API and choose your table name. Once you have connect your repeating group with the plugin, now let's map the fields with the text element. Here what you have to do is to insert dynamic data and the dynamic data would be coming from the your from your air table fields. I want the full name here. I want the email address here and the position in the third column. Now let's just preview this Here you can see the data is fetching from the air table into the bubble database. If I add another row here, the position would be project manager and the email would be Omar. Now if I come back here, I need to refresh my page so that my data gets updated. So this is how we can in integrate our bubble app with the Airtable database in just few minutes. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.